quickly to find out uh, what is it. So mainly like you know the, the traditional belief system was we have critical resources, there's no question about it. We have our transportation, we have our uh, power grid, we have our hydro and we have all these other things which are critical, critical for our country, particular country. Right? So these are resources but again when we think about uh, 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 natural disasters or even man-made disasters or terrorist activities, we are really careful about our infrastructure. So then you dive into the infrastructure. And the last few decades, what we are seeing here is that there is easy access to this infrastructure through information warfare. Right? So that is where this topic is being discussed every, everywhere. In US government, US Senate, and then European Union and everywhere else. Right? So that is where we you know, narrow it down to this particular topic called critical information infrastructure. So what is critical information infrastructure? So it's about uh, information services whose availability, reliability and uh, resilience are essential of the functioning of a modern economy. Now this is what you need to understand. So you have a set of examples also, telecommunications, power distribution, water supply. So all of these are critical resources. And now these things are too much connected to the information. So you can't keep them out. Telecommunication system is completely based on information. They have the infrastructure with networks, you know, these all these servers, routers, switches, which are all connected. Right? And it's connected sometimes, or most of the time, to the internet. So there are billions or millions of hackers can come in and do a lot of things. So uh, then moving to the next slide, so you can understand computers, networks, and network components are now essential to virtually all nations critical infrastructure. So there were days that you know the, the, the policy makers could you know keep uh, close eyes, but not now. Right? Close eyes for especially computing infrastructure, right? information infrastructure, but not now. So this critical information infrastructure, not infrastructure is limited to the domains of defense. Yes, we've been doing it for a long time. We've been protecting national security. Right? We had doctrines, right? For our uh, army and navy and air force, we, we all had these doctrines to protect our uh, physical infrastructure and you know this defense infrastructure. It was there from the beginning. Intelligence services, police services. But now, please remember, this is the important uh, takeout from this presentation. They are part of the daily modern economy and the existence of any other country. It's not only national security now, it's the modern economy. Our banking system, our transportation, how we, how we you know, move from one place to the other, totally depend on this infrastructure. If somebody can attack, right, intentionally or unintentionally, so our economy goes down. So that's why uh, we don't have to read all, all this, but I'll read only the first one. This is a definition for critical infrastructure on different different organizations, so different different countries. So Australia, they say, those physical facilities, supply chains, information technologies, and communication networks which, if destroyed, degraded, or rendered unavailable for an extended period of time, sometimes it can be even one second, right? So that's the irony here. It doesn't have to be always one month, two months. Some network goes down for one second, Right? So in London, the Heathrow Airport, the system which handles all these uh, planes for even one second, that will be disastrous. Degraded or rendered unavailable for extended period would significantly impact on the social and economic well-being, not only national security, of the nation or affect Australia's ability to conduct national defense and ensure national security. Then it goes to that also. So this is the important thing. So I'll just move on. So then there's a definition, I'll just keep the side on. And then I just want you to see this difference in between how governments wanted to define this idea of critical information infrastructure. If you read the first one from Canada, the old version says Canada's critical infrastructure consists of those physical and information technology facilities. Network services, assets, which if disrupted, destroyed, would have a serious impact on the health, safety, security or economic well-being of the Canadians. All right. 
So you can see that particular work called physical and information technology facilities. So they quote, yes, these are the physical devices, but when comes the current definition, which they have changed already. So they are not concentrating themselves to only to physical or information technology facilities. They